Hello team. So today we are going to discuss on the CI/CD pipeline, Tipco AMX Business Work 6 using BW6 Maven plugin. So in this context, uh, I have prepared a couple of slides uh, in which the first slide which talks about the overall components which I have used uh, for uh, setting up the CI/CD framework in which uh, git uh, repository will be used for uh, versioning the, our uh, bw6 code jenkins will be acting as a ci cd server hosted on the tomcat uh, which is in customized tomcat which i'm using um, although jenkins is having its own uh, jt server we are not going to use it uh, for building the er package uh, we are using maven JMeter will be used to exercise our unit test case execution and finally based on that success uh, we are uh, delivering our uh, ER file final package into the external repository so Nexus is the uh, repository which we are using here this is uh, an overall uh, flow of uh, our exercise uh, the developer will be doing the code changes into the business studio eventually he will do the code check into the git repository based on the comments uh, while doing the commit uh, into the git based on that comment jenkins will uh, do the uh, triggering of the build and uh, the fragments which are we are using in this are uh, the packaging the build eventually to the <clears throat> t runtime then uh, unit test case execution will happen and based on that success you can promote the code to the next environment or uh, in parallel you can also deliver our final package er file to the external repository that is nexus which we are using here so this is an overall uh, flow which we are going to exercise so let us quickly jump onto the walkthrough so this is our studio where i have created a small application called calculator which is doing uh, which is getting the request for uh, two numbers and in the response it is sending the addition so that is a very simple exercise which we are going to have it and uh, in the back end, uh, the runtime environment which we are using is a T. At the moment, there is no application running here. Uh, this is the Jenkins application, uh, uh, Jenkins CI CD server which we are using, and this is our pipeline where all the fragments have been configured starting from triggering the build. It will do the packaging, it will do the deployment to the T, it will do the unit testing using the JMeter and finally it will deliver to the Nexus repository. So this is a this is the overall flow which we discussed we are going to execute. So let us start with the studio. In the studio we have a couple of environment profiles which I have set up development QA UAT production in which QA uh, profile with that is having a HTTP port at 4, at 4 which we are going to use so eventually when our application is getting deployed to T and the service will be running so that service will be using this GV parameters and this is the simple flow of my service which is just doing the addition of two numbers which we are receiving in the request so let us quick do small change so that I will have a save options available I'm saving the code let us do the code check into the git repository so this is the user who is doing the development and eventually he will do the code check-in so this is the repository which we have just seen in the back end so this is the code repository where the code will get checked in let us put the credentials
I'm doing the check into the master repository. Check in is successful. And we should be able to see the changes over here. So let us refresh this. Yeah, you can see now the code has been checked in. So once the code has been checked in, uh, uh, the Jenkins will be looking for the trigger which I mentioned uh, in the commit when we are uh, doing the code commit you can let me just quickly show you so this is the tag uh, it is looking for so once this tag is there in the comment it will trigger the build so let us wait for a couple of minutes yeah so you can see the delivery has got triggered and uh, in the pipeline it the build trigger has been moved to install so initially the trigger has happened it has built the package now at the moment it is doing the deployment let us see if we can see the package Yeah, so it is 116. So at 116, the ER file has been built. Okay, so our install is also complete. Deployment is also successful. Now it is exercising the unit testing. And once the unit test is successful, it will release the package to the Nexus repository. Yeah. So you can also uh, go and see the console log if you want. So at the moment, this is about the Nexus delivery. So yeah, it is finally successful. So if you see the overall pipeline, all are, all blocks are green. So we are good. And uh, let us see one by one. So we have already seen the code has been checked in. Let us see whether uh, our deployment has been successful to the T. Okay, so you can see the ER file has got uploaded and the application is got deployed and uh, is also in running state. Let us quickly check the variables. So yeah, 8484, which is uh, the the environment variable pointing to the QA. So it's correct. So let us go and grab the endpoint. So this is the service endpoint. Let me copy this. Let's go over here. Let me paste it over here and then let us quickly test it. Yeah. So it's working. So service is also running successfully. Uh, we, the endpoint or the application is uh, service endpoint is ready to be delivered to the consumers. And yeah, the final portion has uh, with respect to our Nexus repository. Okay, so here are we. Yeah, the ER file has been reached over here. Let us have a HTML view which will show us the timestamp. Yeah, that is 117. The ER file has been delivered over here. Okay, so that's it. I mean, this is the overall flow in the CI CD. Thank you.